What is going on, guys? Today, we are looking at Harry Kuehl. He is now in favor of Leeds, and we'll be going through the Leeds setup for his plus one and plus two. We'll go over who they've got in the next few matches. I know one of them is Liverpool, as we've obviously done Crouch. So we know that they've got one match, which is going to be a big one to go for. Harry Kuehl with a lovely upgrade to a 90. I'm kind of just hoping they get at least one. Going to a 91 would be fantastic for this card. He managed to get an 87 base, an 88 center forward, and now we're back to the left wing with a 90. A four star, four star, 5'11 left footed, can be left mid cam and center forward as well. I really like this card. He was the first hero I did, so if you wanted to check the normal hero out, that is coming out at 45,000 coins at the moment. And I believe we did this, the World Cup as well at 240, but this card looks fantastic. Fantastic. Currently extinct at 1.2 mil, and I'd probably say he's going to be worth it. Looking at the stats, he's what? How tall did I say? 5'11, great pace, great finishing on him. Passing's good, dribbling solid, bit of physicality. Overall, looks a very nice card. Has got injury prone and outside of the foot as the traits. And in terms of the chemistry, uh, chemistry style you'd want, it would be that Hawk. And a Hawk would give him. 97 pace, 95 shooting, and 77 physicality. An interesting one. Let's just get straight into him and see what Harry can do for us. Are you tired of using players like this? I would much rather have teams more like this. Then I recommend going over to skycoach.gg for all of your coaching and coins needs. They are cheap, fast, and reliable. But at the checkout, make sure you are using code JT11 for a discount on your orders. Back to the video. Straight over to him. I'm interested to see that pace side of him. Absolutely blitzes past the right right back. Can we find an in here? We've got a left foot that needs to be absolutely pinged. He's very much just not following. He, know, he knows exactly what run we're going. We're going to win it back though. Can we go for a little bit of a... Ooh, a little bit of a Traveller going on. Oh, there it is. It's a great run from him. Started off a bit slow. Oh my, we needed the acceleration. He's done very well to try and win something back from Trent there. Doesn't quite get the full, but I don't know what the acceleration problem was there, but we, we had almost a clean sprint and he just bottled it at the last second. He's going to go for the ball across. I've never seen an overhead clearance. Oh, that's a great run. He's gone on to that as well. Left foot is incoming. Keeper. Keeper, left foot, good save from Schmeichel. Doesn't manage to get the seconds, unfortunately. Love that he goes so wide on this. As a left wing, he really is very, very nice in his position. And he kind of normally keeps really far wide and, and just is always available for the option of the ball. And I do find that some left wings do tend to... How on earth has he got through there? They do tend to, to float down the middle. Oh, that is beautiful. Double ball roll into a bit of something. Gets very, very lucky with that. It's a good comeback straight away. Did get heavily lucky with that kind of... Uh, I think it's it's almost like an advanced heel to heel. But it worked really, really well. Splitting the defenders nicely. Oh, that's beautiful. Can we find something? Back post is wanted. It's a great ball in and it's a slip from Schmeichel. Rodrigo gets his head onto it and it's a stunning ball across. Wins to it. Lovely. It's great play from him. In, in terms of winning the ball back, he has been absolutely sensational. Can we get ahead of Trent there? We do. In fact, it's Valverde on that instead. Takes it to Harry Kuehl, and it's an easy assist with a bit of flair from Ibra. That is what you want to see. Harry Kuehl down the wing again. Let's find another ball. I did think the defender might have overstepped it. It's a good shot. It's a poor shot. It's not a good shot by any means. Most definitely should have done a hell of a lot better. Saw the goal and thought we might have gone for it. It's got very close control, which is always nice, especially... When you've got defenders doing stuff like that, we can just get ahead of them every time. Ibra, one more, nearly getting past Schmeichel, but it's beautiful dribbling, and it's why I do like him. Oh, Traveller time. Oh, Tra oh, so close. I do like him uh, kind of down the center and, and almost as, as a striker, but in terms of the wing, he's so just perfect for it. It works really well. Everything about him in terms of dribbling does 
absolutely magic stuff. And oh, we've given our we've given our goal away, and Ibra's gonna take the goal off him. This is why Trent just cannot cope with any sort of big winger. Go on, go for the big hit and hope, and it's an absolute cracker to finish. So going into the overall for Harry Kewell then. So he's coming in extinct. I'm interested if he's actually gone at a price. Quite a few actually. 1.1. I was interested because Crouch is 500 as an extinct and one went for 150. You'd be, oh my, 650. You've doubled your coins instantly if you manage to get him. I think that looks like pretty much one of the lowest. Under a mil, you've got a 990. Anybody that you're making the coins there easily. And to be honest, he's going to go up in price. I feel like with a lot of these heroes, to be honest, they are, what are the fantasies coming in at? So they're coming in at a lot lower, to be honest. And I don't know if that... It, it's weird. I suppose there's not necessarily a massive, massive name in any of these. Isaac, most definitely a nice one. Lorente, 1.3 is good. Saliba looks fantastic. If he could get a plus four, that would be incredible. And the fact that a lot of these could potentially get a plus four is interesting to see them coming in so cheap still. Obviously, with the heroes, they are very, very top-end price. You've got one, two, three, four, five of them extinct. Two others are over a mil and a half. And obviously, Rickon coming in very cheap. I don't know what team he's for. We'll have a look when we go to do him. But obviously, it can't be one that's going to win plenty. But Harry Kuhl, four... Um, is it Leeds, did I say? Four Leeds. So... From the 17th of March, we've got one game on the 18th, which is Wolves away. We then have Arsenal away. Then they're at home to Forest, or home to Crystal Palace, home to Liverpool, and finally away to Fulham. There's got to be a win there. I know necessarily they've been up and down form at the moment, but there realistically has to be a win in them. So we should hopefully see a 91 cure that would be really nice in general because i think any boost to this card is is just fantastic on on the extra the fact that we've got 93 pace which is fantastic great shooting the passing's already at 91 which is nice dribbling wise good composure agility balance is nice then obviously the physical you're not really going to notice a difference in a 74 75 76 strength but it just gives him that one boost ahead i feel like both yeah, both cards were a four-star, four-star. I don't think... Was he a three-star at any point? He did get the upgrade, in fact, from the World Cup. So, technically, this one has followed suit and given him a four-star, four-star as well. And I just think, in general, this card is very nice. In terms of Prem left wing, I'm interested because... I feel like he's one of the top ones, most definitely. That is a left wing as well. We won't take a striker. Um, obviously, Ginola was left mid, but he's definitely a striker now. Mudrik, not bad at all. Um, then I'd probably be looking... Saka on this side could be interesting. Realistically, he's got to be the number one there, really. I'd say... Mudrik's very nice. I feel like Harry Kuehl is definitely more of an all-round player in my eyes. That is personally how I go. In terms of left wing for everybody, we have got obviously Ronaldinho at number one, um, which is, yeah, obviously an extinct. The prime Ronaldinho, Mbappe's left wing that can't play striker. Then you've got George Best, I suppose, could come across. He's got to be hitting one of the top ones, to be honest. I think in terms of them, you may be arguing between Mbappe, Timidia Perez, then obviously a Ronaldinho. So I think that is personally the category that he's actually coming in at. And now I can't find him again. But in general, 1.2 mil. I'd probably buy it, to be honest, if you could manage to snipe one. It doesn't look like there's been many sold. So it will be interesting to see if you could actually get a version of him at this point without a bot. But if you do, I think 1.2 is a steal. I, I don't see him being that price. He's got to be at least 2 mil. The big factor, like I say, is the fact that obviously if he gets one win, there's an upgrade. You will see a dip in a lot of these prices if they lose their first match on the 18th, 17th, whenever it is. Because obviously then there is no chance of the full upgrade. And especially for heroes, there is only two chances. One win and then avoid defeat for the next six. If Leeds managed to do it, I think they'd be pulling off the la the next six games of an absolute century, to be honest. Because I think if you asked any Leeds fan, in the next six games against Arsenal, um, Liverpool and all of them, if they could walk away with no losses, I think they'd snap your hand off on it, especially in this position. But in terms of Harry Kuehl, very, very good left wing. Quick, good dribbling, 
Great finishing on him. Could play the striker role, but I definitely think left wing is more suited to him. So let me know down below what you think. I think he's 100% 10 out of 10. Always going to be with him. Really, really rate all of his cards so far. Let me know what you think. Make sure you like and subscribe, and I'll see you tomorrow for the rest of the heroes. Peace.